Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will discuss about forest and domain functional levels in Active Directory domain services. Functional levels determine the available Active Directory domain services domain of forest capabilities. They also determine which Windows Server operating systems you can run on domain controllers in the domain of forest. There are two types of functional levels in Active Directory. They are the domain functional level and the forest functional label. However, functional labels do not affect which operating systems you can run on workstations and member servers that are joined to the domain of forest. When you deploy ADDS, set the domain and forest functional labels to the highest value that your environment can support. This way, you can use as many ADDS features as possible. When you deploy a new forest, you are prompted to set the forest functional level and then set the domain functional level. You can set the domain functional level to a value that is higher than the forest functional level, but you cannot set the domain functional level to a value that is lower than the forest functional level. With the end of the life of the old Windows Server OS, Domain controllers need to be updated to the latest version of Windows servers. As with any server, domain controllers running on an unsupported version of Windows server should be removed from the domain and replaced with a version of Windows server that is supported. At the Windows Server 2008 and higher domain functional levels, DFS replication is used to replicate syswall folder contents between domain controllers. If you create a new domain at the Windows Server 2008 domain functional level or higher, DFS replication is automatically used to replicate syswall. If you created the domain at the lower functional level, you will need to migrate from using FRS to DFS replication for syswall. Already I have created separate video on how to migrate syswall replication from FRS to DFS replication. Link to that video is given in the description area. There have been no new forest or domain functional labels added since Windows Server 2016. Windows Server 2016 is the most recent forest and domain functional label in Active Directory. There are two ways to find current forest and domain functional labels on your Active Directory domain controller. You can use the GUI management tools or the Windows PowerShell. In this video, we will learn how to use both of those tools. Log into your Active Directory Domain Controller, open the Server Manager, click on Tools, and then click Active Directory Domains and Trust. Right click the root domain name, in our case, it is msftwebcast.com. Right click on msftwebcast.com and click Properties to proceed. Under the General tab, you will find the forest and domain functional labels currently configured on your Active Directory Domain Controller. In our case, both domain and forest functional labels are configured to Windows Server 2012 R2 label. Active Directory users and computers can be used to find domain and forest functional labels just like Active Directory Domain and Trust. Click OK and let me close Active Directory Domains and Trust. Click on Tools and select Active Directory Users and Computers. Right click on our domain name and select Properties. Under the General tab, you will find the forest and domain functional labels currently configured on your Active Directory domain controller. As we have seen already, both domain and forest functional labels are configured to Windows Server 2012 R2 label. Let's look at the third method to check forest and domain functional labels. Right click the start menu and select Windows PowerShell admin. To find the domain functional label, use command get hyphen ad domain, pipe, format list, name and domain mode. Let's press enter key to execute this CM delete. We can see the name of our active directory domain which is MSFT webcast 
and domain mode is Windows 2012 R2 domain. Windows 2012 R2 domain represents the domain functional level is set to Windows Server 2012 R2 level. To find the forest functional level, use the command get hyphen ad forest pipe format list name and forest mode. Let's again press enter key to execute the CM delete. Here we can see the name of our forest which is msftwebcaster.com and the forest mode is set to Windows 2012 R2 forest. Here Windows 2012 R2 forest represents the forest functional level is set to Windows Server 2012 R2 level. So using these two same deletes, we can find forest and domain functional level in our active directory forest. You can find the forest and domain functional level using the GUI tools or Windows PowerShell. That's all for this video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comments section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.